Day 7. The Queen of Heaven, in the kingdom of the divine will, takes the scepter of command, and the Most Holy Trinity constitutes her its secretary. The soul to the divine secretary. Queen Mama, here I am, prostrate at your feet. I feel that as your child I cannot be without my celestial Mama, and even though today you come to me with the glory of your scepter of command and with the crown of queen, yet you are always my mama. So, though trembling, I fling myself into your arms that you may heal the wounds which my bad will has made to my poor soul. Listen, my sovereign mama, if you do not make a prodigy, If you do not take your scepter of command in order to guide me and hold your empire over all my acts, so that my will may have no life, I will not have the beautiful destiny of coming into the kingdom of the divine will. Lesson of the Queen of Heaven My dear child, come into the arms of your mama and pay attention in listening to me. You will hear the unheard of prodigies that the divine fiat worked in your celestial mama. As I took possession of the kingdom of the divine will, its steps within me ended, and its full life began, whole and perfect, within my soul. Oh, at what divine heights was I placed by the Most High! The heavens could neither reach me nor contain me. The light of the sun was little before my light. No created thing could reach me. I crossed the divine seas as if they were my own. My Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit longed for me to be in their arms, to enjoy their their little daughter. Oh, what contentment they felt on hearing that. In loving them, I prayed to them, and adored their supreme height. My love, my prayer and adoration came out from within my soul, from the center of the divine will. They felt, coming out from me, waves of divine love, chaste fragrances, and unusual joys, starting from within the heaven which their own divine will had formed in my littleness, to the extent that, they could not stop repeating, All beautiful, all pure, all holy is our little daughter. Her words are chains that bind us. Her gazes are darts that wound us. Her heartbeats are arrows that, darting upon us, make us go into delirium of love. They felt the power, the strength of their divine will coming out from me, which rendered us inseparable, and they called me our invincible daughter, who will bring victory even over our divine being. Now listen to me, my child. The divinity, taken by excess of love for me, told me, Our beloved daughter, our love cannot resist. It feels suffocated, if we do not entrust to you our secrets. Therefore, we elect you our faithful secretary. We want to entrust to you our sorrows and our decrees. We want to save man at any cost. Look how he is falling. His rebellious will drags him continuously toward evil. Without the life, the strength, and the support of our divine will, he has deviated from the path of his creator and walks crawling on the earth, weak, ill, and full of all vices. But there are no other ways to save him, no other ways out other than for the eternal word to descend, assume his guise, his miseries, his sins upon himself, Become because his brother conquer him through love and unheard of pains and give him so much confidence as to be able to bring him back 
again into our paternal arms. Oh, how we grieve over the destiny of man. Our sorrow is great, nor could we confide in it anyone because not having a divine will to dominate them, they could never have understood either our sorrow or the grave evil of man fallen into sin. To you who possess our fiat is allowed the ability to understand it. Therefore, as if to our own secretary, we want to unveil our secrets to you and place the scepter of command into your hands, that you may dominate and rule over all, and that your dominion may win over God and men, bringing them to us as reborn children within their maternal heart. When, who, can you tell, dear child, all that my heart felt at these divine words? A vein of intense sorrow opened in me, and I committed myself, even at the cost of my life, to winning over God and the creature and to uniting them together. Now, my child, listen to your mamma. I saw that you were surprised in hearing me narrate the story of the possession in the kingdom of the divine will. Know that this destiny is given also to you, If you decide never to do your will, the divine volition will form its heaven in your soul. You will feel the divine inseparability, the scepter of command over yourself, over your passions, will be given to you. You will no longer be slave to yourself, because the human will alone puts the poor creature into slavery clips the wings of love for the one who created her and takes away from her the strength, the support, and the confidence to fling herself into the arms of her celestial father to the extent that she is unable to know either his secrets or the great love with which he loves her, living like a stranger in the house of her divine father. What a distance the human will throws between creature and creator and creature. Therefore, listen to me. Make me content. Tell me you will no longer give life to your will, and I will fill you completely with the divine will. The soul, holy mama, help me. Don't you see how weak I am? Your beautiful lessons move me to tears, and I cry over my great misfortune of having fallen many times into the maze of doing my own will, detaching myself from that of my Creator. Be my mamma, do not leave me to myself. With your power, unite the divine will to mine. Enclose me in your maternal heart, in which I will be sure never to do my will. Little Sacrifice Today, to honor me, you will remain under my mantle to learn to live under my gaze, and reciting three Hail Marys for me, you will ask me to make everyone know the divine will. Prayer Celestial Mama, enclose me in your heart that I may learn from you to live from the divine will.